Hello Grade 8 Learners, Parents, and Teachers. Welcome to Teachers Free, your learning buddy that shares free and helpful study materials. Today, we bring you the Grade 8 Science Second Periodical Test Quick Concept Review. This will help you recall lessons, review important ideas, and get ready for your exam with confidence. Here's how you can use it. Just listen to the questions and answers, to review quickly. Or, pause after each question. Think of your own answer first, then check if you got it right. It's like a fun quiz game. So, grade 8 learners, parents, and teachers, let's start the review, and make science more exciting together. Question 1. Who is the ancient Greek philosopher who first described matter as made of tiny indivisible particles called atoms? Answer. Democritus. He introduced the idea that all matter is composed of indivisible units, laying the foundation of atomic theory. Question 2. Who is the philosopher who rejected the atomic idea of Democritus and believed matter was infinitely divisible? Answer. Aristotle. He proposed that matter was continuous and composed of four basic elements, earth, air, fire, and water. Question 3. Who is the English scientist regarded as the father of modern atomic theory in the 19th century? Answer, John Dalton. He proposed that all elements are composed of indivisible atoms that combine in fixed ratios to form compounds. Question 4. What law states that matter can neither be created nor destroyed during a chemical reaction? Answer, law of conservation of mass. It explains that the total mass of reactants equals the total mass of products in any chemical process. Question 5. Who is the scientist who discovered the electron using the cathode ray experiment? Answer, J.J. Thompson. He identified negatively charged particles inside the atom and proposed the plum pudding model of atomic structure. Question 6. Who is the scientist who discovered the nucleus of the atom through the gold foil experiment? Answer, Ernest Rutherford. He concluded that atoms have a small, dense, positively charged nucleus surrounded by empty space. Question 7. Who is the scientist who discovered the neutron in 1932? Answer, James Chadwick. He confirmed the existence of a neutral particle in the nucleus that adds mass without affecting charge. Question 8. What subatomic particle carries a positive charge and is found in the nucleus? Answer, proton. Protons define an element's identity and determine its atomic number in the periodic table. Question 9. What subatomic particle carries a negative charge and orbits around the nucleus? Answer, electron. Electrons are found in energy shells and play a vital role in chemical bonding. Question 10. What subatomic particle is neutral and contributes to the stability of the nucleus? Answer, neutron. Neutrons prevent repulsion among protons in the nucleus and add to atomic mass. Question 11. What do you call atoms of the same element that differ in their number of neutrons? Answer, isotopes. Isotopes have identical numbers of protons but different neutron counts, resulting in different masses. Question 12. What is the weighted average mass of all naturally occurring isotopes of an element? Answer, atomic mass. It is calculated based on the mass and natural abundance of each isotope of the element. Question 13. What isotope of carbon is commonly used to date fossils and ancient artifacts? Answer, carbon-14. Carbon-14 undergoes radioactive decay and is used in radiocarbon dating techniques. Question 14. What formula is used to calculate atomic mass from isotopes? Answer. Sigma. Isotope mass times relative abundance. The formula multiplies each isotope's mass by its relative abundance to determine average atomic mass. Question 15. What isotope of hydrogen, also called heavy hydrogen, contains one proton and one neutron? Answer. Deuterium. Deuterium is an isotope of hydrogen that is heavier than protium and is used in nuclear research. Question 16. What is the simplest pure substance that cannot be broken down by chemical means? Answer. Element. An element is defined by its atomic number and is represented by a unique symbol. Question 17. What type of pure substance is formed when two or more elements are chemically combined? Answer. Compound. Compounds have elements bonded in fixed ratios with properties different from their components. Question 18. What is the smallest unit of a compound that retains its chemical properties? Answer. Molecule. Molecules are groups of atoms bonded together, representing the simplest unit of compounds. 
Question 19. What number identifies an element by the count of its protons? Answer. Atomic number. The atomic number determines the identity of an element and its order in the periodic table. Question 20. What element is the most abundant in the Earth's crust? Answer. Oxygen. Oxygen makes up nearly half of the Earth's crust by mass and is found in many minerals. Question 21. Who is the German chemist who introduced the law of triads grouping elements in threes? Answer. Johann Doberaner. He observed that properties of elements in a triad were related to their average atomic masses. Question 22. Who is the English scientist who proposed the law of octaves, noting repeating patterns every eighth element? Answer. John Newlands. He arranged elements by increasing atomic mass and noticed periodic recurrence of properties every eighth element. Question 23. Who is the Russian chemist credited with creating the first widely accepted periodic table? Answer. Dmitry Mendeleev. He organized elements by atomic mass and predicted the existence of undiscovered elements. Question 24. Who is the scientist who proved that atomic number, not atomic mass, should arrange the periodic table? Answer. Henry Mosley. He used X-ray experiments to show that the atomic number defines an element's properties and ord. Question 25. What law states that the properties of elements are periodic functions of their atomic numbers? Answer. Modern periodic law. This law explains recurring properties of elements based on electron arrangements linked to atomic numbers. Question 26. What do you call the horizontal rows of the periodic table? Answer. Periods. Periods indicate the number of electron shells present in atoms of the elements. Question 27. What do you call the vertical columns of the periodic table? Answer. Groups. Groups consist of elements with the same number of valence electrons and similar chemical behavior. Question 28. What type of elements are located along the zigzag line of the periodic table? Answer. Metalloids. Metalloids show both metallic and non-metallic properties, like silicon and arsenic. Question 29. What class of elements are shiny, malleable, and good conductors of heat and electricity? Answer. Metals. Metals occupy the left and center of the periodic table and have distinct physical properties. Question 30. What class of elements are brittle, poor conductors, and often exist as gases or dull solids? Answer. Non-metals. Non-metals are found on the right side of the periodic table and lack metallic properties. Question 31. What model of the atom describes electrons as existing in regions of probability around the nucleus? Answer. Electron cloud model. It shows that electrons occupy regions where they are most likely to be found, not fixed paths. Question 32. What principle states that the exact position and momentum of an electron cannot be known at the same time? Answer. Heisenberg uncertainty principle. It highlights the limits of precision in measuring electrons, supporting the electron cloud concept. Question 33. What do you call the outermost energy level of an atom? Answer. Valence shell. The valence shell contains the electrons most involved in chemical bonding. Question 34. What do you call the electrons found in the outermost shell of an atom? Answer. Valence electrons. Valence electrons determine chemical reactivity and bonding properties of elements. Question 35. Who is the Danish scientist who proposed the planetary model of the atom with quantized orbits? Answer. Niels Bohr. He explained atomic spectra by showing electrons move in specific orbits with fixed energies. Question 36. What diagram uses dots around an element's symbol to represent valence electrons? Answer. Electron dot diagram. It shows valence electrons visually, helping predict bonding and reactivity of elements. Question 37. What block of the periodic table includes groups 1 and 2 elements? Answer. S block. The S block contains alkali and alkaline earth metals with outer electrons in S orbitals. Question 38. What block of the periodic table contains the transition metals? Answer. D block. The D block includes elements with outer electrons in D orbitals, often forming colored compounds. Question 39. What block of the periodic table includes elements such as halogens and noble gases? Answer. P block. The P block contains nonmetals and metalloids with outer electrons in P orbitals. Question 40. What block of the periodic table includes lanthanides and actinides? Answer. F block. 
The F-block includes inner transition metals placed below the main table with F-orbital electrons. Great job, everyone. You've just finished our test review. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends or fellow teachers, and don't forget to subscribe for more free resources and study guides. And see you in the next video.